Setting up and pairing smart home tech has always been a little bit limiting, especially if you find yourself using devices from different ecosystems. There is a good chance as well if you're doing this, that the thing that you thought would make things easier actually makes things a lot more difficult. Matter though, the standard is set to change that. Well, what is it and how is it beneficial to you? Well, here's everything you need to know. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. In its current state, building a smart home with devices that connect to each other can be a little bit frustrating. Your best bet is to stick to one ecosystem governed under a single standard such as Google Home, Apple HomeKit or even Samsung SmartThings to name a few. If you followed that guideline, there's a good chance that your light bulbs, switches, smart blinds and other devices will all talk to each other and work just how you want them to, so long as they were made by the same company. The faults of current smart home products really start to rear their heads when you buy products from different manufacturers, even if they both work with Google Home or even Apple HomeKit. You'll find that devices can work in some respects, but often don't play nicely with each other. For instance, some brands are exclusive to one ecosystem. Eve, for example, has always only supported HomeKit from Apple devices, meaning customers with Android phones are unable to use or control those devices unless they get Apple products to work with those. What is Matter? Well, what the Connectivity Standard Alliance set out to do with Matter is to connect those smart home products, whether or not they're from different manufacturers or even only work with certain standards, and develop a bridge between these, linking them through a simplified standard that's easier for each device to understand. Matter was launched just a short while ago through an initiative from Google and other smart home manufacturers to close that gap between devices and ecosystems that didn't necessarily play nice with each other. With that, more companies are able to produce tech without having to gain certification with a dozen different standards simultaneously. Rather, each can focus on one or two and know that its products will work with hundreds of others, making it easier for you to pick them up and connect to your systems. Currently though, Matta has pledged support or upcoming support for around 200 different products, including some from Philips Hue and Google. The first few devices are the Google Nest lineup, including the Nest Wi-Fi Pro, which works as a thread border router. So from that, you're probably wondering how does Matta work? Well, bringing hundreds of products together and connecting them in a way that forces them all to play nice is definitely not easy, but the idea can be simplified to what is a pretty basic process. In essence, matter is sort of like the middleman. Any action a device takes goes through matter itself. From there, it can be controlled from any of the devices quickly and relatively easily with no delay. There are two ways that they can do this. The first is traditional Wi-Fi connection, which sends a signal over a local Wi-Fi network to other devices. The second way is something called Thread, which is a fast networking protocol that works in conjunction with your Wi-Fi network. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell is the Thread protocol? Well, Thread is a common feature of mesh networks as the two go pretty much hand in hand. With that, Thread devices always have a solid connection as multiple devices can emit a low energy signal, maintaining a constant strong connection between those. You can think of the Thread protocol as another lane in your local network with certain devices opting to take that route with less traffic and higher speed limits. Smart home tech that relies on battery power, such as sensors, are fantastic candidates for the Thread protocol, as it doesn't take much energy to use and can be maintained a little bit more easily. In reality though, most devices would do better to work with Thread over Wi-Fi, though more companies would need to adopt it within their products and upcoming devices. Of course, in order to use Thread-enabled devices, you would need a Thread border router, which is a device that can tie those devices into your internet connection, Currently though, the Google Nest Hub Max, the Nest Hub 2nd Gen and Nest Wi-Fi Pro all work as thread border routers, which means you can start building your Matter Empire right now if you do not own any of these. So that's a little bit of an overview of Matter and the devices that you may have in your home, but are these devices easy to set up? Well, even though the standard has been officially live for a limited time, companies like Google are already on top of supporting it, as we've noted. With that, Android is already being prepped with quick Matter integration and setup, bringing fast pair to the smart home, much like it would be used to pair a pair of earbuds or even a smartwatch with your device. What that essentially means is that devices supporting Matter will be 
pretty extremely easy to get up and running with Android, and here are some generalized steps that you'll need to take with most Matter devices. What you'll probably need to do is you'll need to put your device into pairing mode and wait for that fast pair prompt to appear on your new device. This will then prompt a QR code that you can scan, and then what you'll need to do is choose your preferred controller application. It's worth noting that either Google Home, Samsung SmartThings, or another app will be used to do that. Once you've done this, you can just connect it to your Google account if you're a Google user, and then you'll choose the device location and just give it a name like you would with any other piece of smart home technology. Of course, we haven't had a true, I haven't had a true chance to give this a go, but we have seen this in action at Google's CES booth, and we actually expect the process won't be far off what we've actually seen. As complicated as some smart home products can be in their setup procedures, we expect that Matter will provide a little bit of relief when installing new bulbs or whatever you do want to add to your smart home system. Another thing you may be noting is Matter actually being used at this point. Well, as we've just mentioned, Matter is a product of the majority of smart home tech manufacturers and companies. Supporting this new standard means products are compatible with more homes and are much easier to use, which becomes a win-win for everyone. This breaks a barrier for a lot of people out there as they don't need to stick to just one standard like Google Home or HomeKit, making it easier to just pick these devices up. With that though, the current list is pretty big and made up of over 15 different companies with products that are certified with the Matter standard. Beyond that, even more have been announced or upcoming support for more devices have been announced. And this will mean the, the first step as no smart home products outside of Eve's lineup are using Matter as of yet, at least at this stage. We expect this to change relatively soon though. On top of that, you're probably wondering what kind of devices does Matter actually support? Well, currently, Matter has a plan in place to support elect, uh, select few categories of devices. And this is the current group set that will be compatible with the standard. You'll get things like bridges, controllers, window coverings, uh, door locks, HVAC controls and sensors that go with those, things like lights, that's pretty basic, speakers and smart speakers and shades and so on and so forth. One glaringly obvious exclusion though that you may be wondering about is cameras. Well, because of the security concerns behind controlling these online cameras, there is a bit more work that needs to be done at least at this stage. Beyond that, almost every category that you can think of is covered, even a lot that we haven't mentioned. We've tried to keep that as short as possible. The sudden wave of Matter integration is also pretty surprising, but it is more than welcome, especially as smart homes become more ubiquitous with homes out there. With big companies integrating the Matter standard in existing and new devices, we're truly hoping that smart home tech becomes more accessible and easier to use for everyone, no matter what devices you choose to run or even pick up that is. So that's a pretty short summation of what Matter is, how it may benefit you in the smart home tech ecosystem. But overall, if you have any questions, be sure to pop them down below. We'll try our best to answer as many as possible. Hopefully you enjoyed this little explainer of the system. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.